Hi, everybody. Welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Garrig, and today from our friends at 49 and Market, I've got Art Options Holiday Wishes Collection. Comes in a 6x8 paper pad, a 12x12. We've also got Holiday Wishes laser cut elements that are really cool. We've got rub ons, we've got tags, and we've even got this little postage stamp washi tape that comes in a little dispenser. It's so cute. I can't wait to show you what we've come up with. So come play with us. All right, let's take a look at this beautiful 12 by 12 paper pack collection. Front cover, you've got all these beautiful cutouts. Look at this great little pickup truck. You know, great red on the back. And what I love about this little cutoff piece right here, because it has this little, you know, uh, labeling down here, you cut this off and they make great little borders. So every detail is, you're just able to use all of it. Gorgeous one, I'm gonna do a scrapbook page using this one. Look at that brushed color on the back. This beautiful would be beautiful for a scrapbook page. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Look at those rich colors. And the poinsettias and the sort of the typeset mixed in with that is gorgeous. And this beautiful holly, look at those sprigs, they're gorgeous. There's some larger holly there. Look at this one. Oh. And then we've got the little farmhouse scene and the stripes on the back, kind of a distressed stripes. All right, so I wanted to start out with doing a page using just what's in this paper pack collection. And then we're gonna kind of build on that. So if you're just interested in one item and you're getting the 12 by 12 paper pack. And I know, I know not all of you are scrapbookers, but I think for Christmas, how cool would a page be to give as a framed gift? So that's kind of my take on this. So I've got a five by seven photo. Look at this cute little guy, he's adorable. Um, I've matted him with white and then red cardstock, dark red. And we've got our cutout pieces here that are from this sheet. And I'm gonna start with kind of layering and I like to layer so that part of these are showing and sort of sticking out in that way. This is a great journaling piece. You can sort of write the date and things on that. And then you can just sort of tuck it and use your adhesive to make sort of a pocket behind things. We're gonna be doing that. Um, I don't use, I use, primarily I use Cosmic Shimmer Specialist acrylic glue, acrylic glue, but today I'm gonna drag out the tape runner. I just do not give it enough airtime. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Right there. And then before I put the next piece down, I kind of like to set the photo there and sort of tuck that in so we can see where that's going. All right, now we're gonna kind of do the pocket um, like I was talking about. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna leave a part of this open. So I'm gonna put adhesive around it. Like that. And then this piece can go right in there. You can pull it in and out. We're just gonna leave it sticking out like that for our purposes. And then I went ahead and I took my tiny scissors and I use that to cut out the Christmas trees and some of these poinsettias and also this little book plate right there. So book plate or label right there. And I'm gonna put some foam tape on that. I'm gonna remind you of our giant wheel of foam tape. This is 150 feet or 50 yards and it's like around $20. Great, great deal. I've actually, it's a half inch wide, I've cut it down a little bit. I'm just gonna put that right there. I did make it a little longer than I wanted to, there we go. And I'm gonna put that right down here at the bottom. Normally, of course, you would maybe put a date on that or a name and a date. And then we've got our Christmas trees and I know I wanna put one here and one here because I've got lots of embellishments here and here. I want something to kind of, this is sort of a, what I think of as a grounding piece right here. And I'm gonna put something right over that. So I've got foam tape on the back of both of those. 
And as I said, all of these elements are coming out of this 12 by 12 paper pad, this collection. And then these poinsettia are awesome, and I'll tell you why. This, this piece right here I cut out, and then this piece I cut out, and it lines up perfectly with the elements and leaves on this one, and then it gives you that dimension. So it's really easy to get like two pieces right there lined up, and it looks really nice. So with this one, we're gonna put, I love this lantern down here, and I don't wanna cover that up, so we're gonna put this one right up here. I like to kind of go into the photo a little bit. This one we're gonna do down here. Oh, I don't have any foam tape on that one. That's kind of shocking. I like to put foam tape on everything. All right, and that one we're gonna kind of put that right up against that lantern. So there's a little bit uh, dimension next to that. This one, we're gonna put this among those little Christmas trees or snow covered trees, one on top of the other. So we're kind of building on that. And then we've got this piece, this is a single layer. And then this one we can just kind of put right in here to kind of bring this part right into the photo. All right, so now we've got all of the pieces that were cut out that I wanted to use from here, okay? And now we can add other things like some rub-ons. So let's take a look at the rub-ons. We can zoom in a little bit on that. So these are just awesome rub-ons. There's so many. These are wonderful, just like card focals on their own, or they're great to layer. So look at all these beautiful pieces. I know I'm going to want to add some words. And then these are wonderful sort of background, sort of distressed, ephemera-looking pieces. Same with this one with music. And then I think this is just a piece of cardboard. Yes, it is. Okay. So we've got all of those pieces, and what? And it comes with your little rub-on stick. But I've got one right here that I already started to cut apart. Add that. So what I know I want to do with this is add a couple of pieces of maybe some extra holly leaves. So I always recommend instead of instead of peeling this backing off and then setting it down and then trying to do just this little piece right here never works trust me you end up touching something else and it sticks on there and it's just it's just a disaster so just kind of sloppily cut around um around the image you want to cut out you're not being careful at all i'm just trying to get it separated and then you're going to peel the backing off okay and then you're going to place your image. I'm going to place that. Actually, I want it to kind of overlap. I'm going to lift that up. I want it to overlap this piece of paper right here. And then we're just going to take our little tool and rub, rub, rub. We can zoom in on that a little bit. And there. All right, now what's great about a rub on is, is that you can come off. <laughs> you can actually pull that up and then see, oh, I left a little tiny bit right there. And then you can just go back and place that. And it's not going to damage or disrupt your image because you haven't lifted the whole thing up. You can just lay it back down again. And you can do that. It's great. You want to go, uh, yeah, got some banging in the background there. All right, and so now we're gonna go ahead, finish that right there. All right, and now we're gonna add some words. Okay, this one is all I want for Christmas. That is so cute, and we can put that right there. And we can just add that right there. to kind of pull up like that and then even use this part of your stick here there we go that's really cute and then you can just kind of layer things in that manner so 
I think we're good here. Um, this would look so cute. Place this in a frame. You could even do a frame that has no glass in it. So you can find yourself a 12 by 12 frame. And because this has dimension on it, just take the glass out of it and present that as a wonderful keepsake gift. Um, I think that's just a really nice personalized gift for some parents or some grandparents that live far away. So let's move on to a slimline card. So this is three and a half by eight and a half. And this one uses the same 12 by 12 paper pack. Um, it also uses some rub-ons here and here. But then it also uses this laser art. Oops. Let's take a look at that. Oh, so it's got these beautiful lace pieces and lots of cool elements here. Oh, look at that lace. This right here is glued here. That is just gorgeous. And then, oh, look at all these. Got some holly. So right here, there's some sprigs right here, right here. There's this little berry piece. So as you can see, Debbie just sort of built on this background by first covering the card, adding some rub-ons, and then adding some laser cut pieces to the top. And then just rubbed on a little deck the holes right there on that little label. Beautiful. All right, now, but, oops. This one is a gorgeous six by six card. It also uses the, um, this one I think uses the six by eight paper pack collection. So let's take a look at this one. This one is very similar to the 12 by 12. Um, great for card making specifically. So if that is your thing, then this size is perfect for you. There's multiples of each one. So you're getting, yeah, like three, four. Now you're getting three of each design. This one just happens to have the opposite side. So look at that. Isn't that cool? So beautiful. I'm just gonna kind of flip through this since we've seen them already in the 12 by 12 size. And then we're gonna get that farmhouse. So here's the farmhouse background. Also, we've got the stripe. And then she added those laser cut pieces right here. And these tags, look at these adorable tags. The tags, like this. And these are perfect for gift tags. You can embellish them with the rub-ons and the laser cut pieces, or even just like just the rub-ons because they're so decorated. Some have no decoration on them. They just sort of have this light print on the back, on the pattern, and light pattern on them. <laughs> and then they'd be perfect for putting rub-ons on. So that's what Debbie did here. She just added those rub-ons. And then how great if you were using this for a gift package just to personalize that on the back. Very sweet. With this one right here, we've got the laser cut lace right here. And Debbie took some um, 1 8 inch wide row grain ribbon and just thread that through that. Isn't that adorable? And then we've got some rub-ons right here. She did such a great job. And look on the inside, Beautiful, and I should mention she actually made the card out of this paper. So, the six by six card, so she took 12 by 12 card stock, cut this down to six inches tall, scored it, and that's her card base. You could also just use a blank six by six card and decorate the, the top of that as well, but how fun to have that, beautiful. All right, so our last card, this one uses the six by eight. It uses some of the laser cut pieces here, uses the laser cut frame, and we get to use this little postage stamp washi tape. It's so cute, you guys. It comes with this little dispenser, so it's like once you get that started, you can just thread it through there, just like real postage stamps. And look, it just tears right off because it's perforated. How cute is that? And then you can just place that right there. She did such a nice job with these cards. 
So you guys, we've got a fantastic money saver on this collection. I would just stop right now and jump on that if I were you. This is not going to last long. And um, if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page, it's right there on the right-hand side of the screen. And all the items individually are listed down below the video. So if you're interested in one or two things or you want to know about adhesive that I use, that's listed below. And if you're watching us on YouTube, then just look below the description box and you'll find a link that'll take you to this Paper Wishes webisode page. So um, definitely give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe because we do four to five videos a week and we'd hate for you to miss a thing. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.